guys and welcome back to my channel. You guys know from my previous video I did a wash and go. Oh, I'm taking this down if you haven't noticed. Um, I did a wash and go with the gold gel and I feel like doing it again on black hair. This is my hair right out of the shower. I don't have any products in my hair right now. And at this moment, I know I effed up. Never ever, if you have low porosity hair, do not, y'all, don't come out of the shower without your products applied. Sis, why would you do that? Go ahead and apply that leave-in. Don't come out of the shower with no product at all. That is your very first mistake. None. Okay, so my hair is all sectioned off. I'm gonna go in with the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In. You guys know I love this stuff. And I'm gonna be saturating my hair because you guys know I don't like to start off with my hair. Look at so dry, Jesus, this made my mouth dry. Jesus. It's crazy how my mouth, my hair is making my mouth dry. Oh my God, this is so weird. Anyway, I'm gonna spray a lot of water on this station. Okay, so I just wanted to throw this in here that even though you put hot water in your spray bottle, by the time the air and the water is released out of the spray bottle, the water isn't as warm as it should be for you. So do not rely on this water bottle before you're leaving. And I've been liking using this little, like this type of spray lately. I still love my 360, but this is just a mist and Sometimes I need more than a mist, friend. Sometimes a mist just ain't gonna do it. You see how out this water is like, that what I need. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just need that extra. Y'all can tell how wet it is because, you know, my sweater. But it's okay, it's okay. Now, um, I broke a nail. <laughs> so we gotta glove it up today. Sorry, guys. So. Here we go. Getting some of that moisture back. All right, now y'all see some juices and burrs coming back. Cause I'm huh, nah. To tangle with my Felicia Leatherwood brush. Just get the job done a little quicker. Now I'm gonna be using this Okay, so I wanted to pause the video before I told you guys what products I'm using, just so you can take a look at that section in the back. And if you guys watch a lot of my videos, you know, I don't necessarily go in with my products with my hair looking like this. Um, so it was honestly because of the leave-in, not being in the shower, but I just want you to see now. I just want you to see, okay. <laughs> new curling cream by As I Am. As I Am, y'all got a new curling cream. It looks like this. Ooh, it smells just like the original classic line so just like that co-wash this is how it smells very creamy nice and creamy it's very soft so I knew it I knew that slip was gonna be on point what? Ooh, I like this it's kind of like a slimy cream I don't know that's what it feels like a, a slimy cream to me that feels so good that has amazing slip okay I need you to focus because this is the most important part of this video so what we've learned so far is that I did not put my leave-in in in the shower I didn't have warm water at the time because I used a spray bottle so look at my hair y'all look at that section now it looks a hot mess it looks frizzy it does not look promising at this point it should already look promising and if it hasn't you should probably wash it out okay so at this point we have tried to do way too much to my hair while I am outside of the shower, while there's no heat to my hair. And my hair cannot take all these products. It's saying, sis, <laughs> baby girl, okay? This is too much, all right? That is what your hair is saying at this point because you have low porosity hair. It's a, it takes a minute for products and stuff to get into your hair, okay? So if you try to do all of this all in one step, that is where you're doing it wrong. If you guys haven't noticed when I do come on here to show my wash and goes, I've already had my leave-in in my hair. It's already just marinated, you know what I'm saying? All right, keep that in mind, okay? That cream has some amazing slip. So now I'm just gonna go in with the Eco Styler Gold Gel. Okay, if you don't know what the gold gel is, it's super moisturizing, okay? So this is a horrible idea. Your hair is already not taking in the moisture and products that you've already applied. Now you're trying to go in with a gel to fix it, 
But I'm sorry, sis, you done fucked up. <laughs> I forgot how like nice my hair is when I use this gel. Like I legit forgot. And I know a lot of y'all did not like this gel. I personally loved it and I've already used the whole tub of it. This is my second tub. So it looks like it's gonna come out pretty okay. Sis. What the fuck is pretty okay? What is pretty okay? If I ever say pretty okay, that's my way of saying, uh-oh, this is going to be horrible. Okay? Just just know that this is not cute. Mm -mm. I don't know if I just, I'm putting too much cream, but I can see it kind of trying to separate. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm not a complete idiot. I'm already trying to tell you guys exactly what happened. The products are separating. They're not getting into my hair. They're just all trying to compete to get into my hair at the same time and it's not working. So that's why my hair looks like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna fix that and figure out what I like, but we're gonna continue to do the wash and go. You guys know how we do. I don't like to talk while I'm doing my wash and go. Okay, so yeah, I do like to study my wash and goes. That's exactly why I do not like to talk while I do them because especially if I'm using new products and new combinations, I really like to study them. So it's actually a, a real technique, guys. Getting your wash and go down definitely takes some learning and some curves. <laughs> so I'm going to put on some music, let you guys jam out a little bit while I do this wash and go. and We're going to see how it comes out. Okay, so since this video has a ton of voiceovers, I was like, I might as well continue to talk because I got some stuff to say. The products are not the issue in this video. It's your techniques, okay? And that's what I kind of wanted to show you guys because I do the same techniques over and over and over. And you guys always say, you know, you can do no wrong. And I, this video is to show you like, yes, I can. I just actually know what I'm doing, okay? Like I literally study my hair like this is a thing it's not like I'm coming on here throwing some products on my hair and boom like no like if I see a product and I see it's heck of moisturized and I know that I can't put a super moisturizing leave-in or something like that on my hair like I know I'm studying the products I know how they operate but as you can see this got my hair looking a oh, weird and I'm still spraying this cold water on my hair <laughs> And my hair done dried out because I didn't start off with like a bag on my head or anything like I normally do. You guys know how I do. And everything that I do is, it has a purpose. Like if you come out with a bag on your hair, that heat is still trapped inside of your hair, okay? So if you come out and you just air towel dry your hair and then it's all cooled down, then a lot of your products are not going to go on top of that correctly. So make sure that you're keeping your hair heated. Like you don't have to add heat. But just keep like the heat from the water, the heat from a plastic bag. Any of that will do if you want to do your wash and go a little bit later. Just make sure you're doing that because it's very, very, very important. And I will let y'all know like I was struggling to get, do this wash and go. Like this is one of the hardest wash and goes that I've ever had to do because I was trying to counteract what I had already completely done and messed up. And make sure that the products actually go down in there. And that's why I like to roll the hair up and clamp it. Because that does help a lot when I'm doing that. Because it traps some heat inside. And I'm just showing you guys right here what it looks like when you spray water on, um, you know, dry hair. And it's low porosity. That water just sat on top, okay? But, you know, that's all we got, sis. That's all we got. And for my hair at the top, um, I stopped using the other cream the as I am cream and I only used the gel because y'all it was just it was just so hard it was so hard to get this wash and go done and I was ready to be done and as you can see like there's still kind of some frizz it's kind of looking like okay now but it's kind of a little weird yeah and now you can see that the products are super white on my hair because it's my hair is not taking in most of this so I'm just showing you guys what it looks like after I've done that. Okay, y'all. So I have completed my wash and go. I know this looks bad, but like I really, I'm not wet. I just want to let y'all know I'm not wet under this. But I'm about to go ahead and start drying my hair. Now today I'm not going to sit under a hooded dryer because I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like it. So I'm going to be blow drying my hair with the Dyson, y'all. Just because I really like using it. Like... I really like using it, so I was like, I might as well show y'all how I'm really drying my hair. So, let's get to it. Come on, Thane, what you doing? Okay. 
All right, you guys already know this is a no-no for me. I like to sit under a hooded dryer. And the reason I sit under the hooded dryer, y'all, is for, is for the top of my hair to be completely perfect. Like, I want it to dry exactly how I did the wash and go. And I don't want anything to change. Like, I don't want to manipulate it. But when you are blow drying your hair like this, it just, that's, you're just manipulating everything. It's causing frizz and all that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure that you're avoiding doing a blow dry stage before you um actually sit under the dryer okay okay guys so i didn't show you guys how my hair looked directly like as soon as i finished blow drying okay so i didn't show you guys when my hair was dry because it's still not dry in this video and if you guys can tell me i just want to see if y'all been listening why do you think my hair is not dry i have blow dried it i have tied my hair up and it is the next day I just want to know if you're listening or if you have taken anything from this video. So if you guys can tell me below why your hair or why my hair isn't dry in this video, I would love you forever. But I did just go to sleep because I was tired right after I did that. So I just wrapped my hair like I normally do. I'll put a wrapping video above so you guys can see that. But I just wrapped my hair like I normally do. And this is what it looks like the next day. And then, you know, you're probably like, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong, guys? A lot. Like, look at my hair. First of all, it's ve it's not very stretched. It's very shrunk shrunken to my head. And that's um, because of just using the dryer. Because when I use the hooded dryer, y'all, it dries from the top down. So it elongates my hair. But if I was to blow dry it completely like you guys do, this is what my hair would look like. Or diffuse it. Even if I diffuse it, it always come out looking a little weird. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, my hair seems to be very tangled, actually. Like, I'm kind of pissed that I did this because it's tangled. It's frizzy, as you guys can see. This does not look like I just did a wash and go. Like, it does not. And even though it looked good at first, like, it's very fluffy. I would give it that, but it's just too much going on too much frizz too much shrinkage that can't necessarily be restored because a lot of my product has like separated from each other so it's creating this weird look to my hair it's best to get your process your technique down packed this really looks a whole mess like it even feels pretty dry even though i use really great products on this wash and go it just feels dry and um it shouldn't have it's just that when you do not have the right products that go together and they kind of act one another then it will honestly do that for you so um, I just kind of want to make this video just so you guys can kind of see why I say to do certain things to your hair because there are there's a, it's a reason I say what I say you know what I'm saying that's all I'm trying to get it's a reason I say some of the things that I do say um, and tell y'all why it works for my hair. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.